Good day, everyone. We relamped the Adams Octa ring with a 900 nanometer light source, and these are the test results. When installing a new light source, you want to check to see that you have an annular ring around the port. This one's a little off center, but it's good enough. For this candle test, we use the lid we use with the incense. It generally keeps the smoke in. However, it is restricting flow, so I'm thinking we have to do something a slightly different. After the candles extinguished, we remove the lid and you can see a little of the light pattern. Two photos of the test setup with incense and the display and we'll get on with the graphs. The baseline data was very boring, but it looked very good. I didn't include it in this video. The candle then incense is a combined test of the candle protocol plus adding some incense right on the same. It came back to baseline before the candle, after the candle, and after the incense. I'm really impressed that the color shift follows the opacity so well. In fact, it almost precedes it in that the response of the color is quicker than the response of the opacity measurement. The fact that they track together so well is encouraging. This next chart is something I've been working on where I normalize the diodes. Actually, this 900 nanometer puts out about twice as much in the red spectrum than the blue and the green. But when you normalize them, you still see a shift to the red. In other words, the blue and green light sources, even the clear, are getting blocked, whereas the red is making its way through the smoke particles. This is the visible light source that we're using today. And this is a chart of the wavelength as it varies during the test. A shift up would be a shift to the red, and all of this data tends to shift the light to the red. I have found these warm white lights or the 800 blue no or the ones that dip into the infrared tend to have a nice clean signal, very stable readings in the baseline. It may not be anymore, but this one actually puts out quite a bit of brightness, which makes it easy to work with on the opacity side. 